Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hungry House Husband Show. Today I have for you a strawberry buckle. So as I run the ingredients across the screen, some people out there, because I know I was one of them, are asking what exactly is a buckle? Never heard of it. A buckle is something you put on a belt to hold your pants up. Well, it's a cake type pie with fruit in it with a streusel topping. So without further ado, let's put this thing together. So first off, we're going to start with our softened butter, and then we're going to add to that our brown sugar and combine those together with a mixer. And no need to beat the bejesus out of it. Uh, we're just looking for a nice, smooth consistency just to make sure it's all incorporated and blended together really well without turning into some kind of a cream. And then we will add our egg and our vanilla and just continue going and combining. It's going to eventually start to kind of froth up and become more of a cake batter. And now we want to start to add the flour and add it in little batches. You don't want to just toss the whole thing in there and have a huge cloud come up in your face. A uh, little bit at a time. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Uh, just slowly as it incorporates, add a little more until you're done. Now when you have all your batter in, you're going to notice it start to pull away almost like a dough. At that point we add the milk and that will release it uh, back into a more batter state. Now with your buttered pie tin, we want to go ahead and add in our filling. And don't worry too much about getting it smooth on top. Uh, it's going to be covered up by fruit anyway. Uh, the fruit in retrospect would be better if it was pressed into this batter, I, I think, but it still came out pretty well sitting on top of the cake. The strawberries added a layer of tartness to an already sweet cake. So to make the streusel, we're going to combine flour, our brown sugar, and the three spices. And just combine them with a fork. Uh, get them all nice and mixed up so that we can uh, then add in the butter. Now this is cold butter, so we're gonna have to cut it in with a fork and just do the best you can. It will combine and come together eventually. It does take it a few minutes. Uh, like I said before, this is not a sprint. This is definitely a marathon and your arm will probably feel like it's been a marathon after this. I could have done this with a mixer I was just lazy and didn't feel like cleaning out my beaters from the cake uh, that was already on them. So I uh, went ahead and did it the old fashioned way. And uh, I think it came out uh, even better for it. And this is basically what it should look like uh, once you're done. Kind of flaky, little lumps of butter in there. Those are going to melt and help to keep it all held together. And now to finish putting it all together, we're going to take our pie pan with the cake batter, add the fruit. I did mine to the top. Now my strawberries are frozen strawberries that have been thawing a little bit and I chopped them up uh, as they were frozen. Uh, it will make for a tartar pie, I think, if you get the frozen ones. 
Uh, it, the fresh strawberry is more likely to be sweeter, uh, especially if you add sugar to them and make uh, like a compote. Uh, but uh, once your strawberries are on top, then add the streusel and just kind of cover them up as best you can. If a little bit's poking out, it's going to look even better. Uh, but you want to try and keep them contained inside. Uh, once all the streusel is on there, then it's ready to go to the oven. Now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the top is golden brown and the middle is set. And so there we have it, the strawberry buckle. Uh, I've got a picture here showing the inside of it. It's very cake-like, almost gingerbread-y uh, flavor, but very sweet with the strawberries coming out very tart and the streusel also being very, very sweet. So very nice uh, dessert. It's something out of the ordinary, uh, something this Texas boy had never heard of before. I hope you like this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you next time. And as always, may your life and your food always have flavor. Bye-bye.